It's serious. And silly. But serious. Silly, but serious. But silly. With Scott and Sheila. <laughs> so fun, guys. <laughs> Oh, it's so awkward, I know. <laughs> oh my god, oh, that's fine. You guys will have that theme song in your head all day. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. They for sure already have it because I'm sure everybody watches every one of our episodes on our YouTube page. Where right? would they be able to watch that, Sheila? They will be able to watch it on our Champlain Theme Lambert YouTube page, which I will be referring to at the end of this beautiful interview that we're doing. I'm sorry, this is really, I'm <laughs> so awkward for you guys. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we're going to get to it. Um, this week, we have decided, or today, we have decided to really interview our fantastic students um, and our student groups, which are going to be hosting amazing events coming up. So I wanted to take the opportunity to introduce Catherine Jackson and Abiyaz Abdul, um, uh, part of our uh, MSA and our DECA and Model UN Club. So I would like you guys to take a couple of seconds or minutes just to explain, um, just talk about a little bit about yourself, your club, and the amazing events that you have uh, coming up so that Champlain community can participate and know about what's going on. So maybe we'll start off with, uh, we'll start off with Catherine. Excellent. So yes, my name is Catherine. I'm a second year student here at Champlain. I'm in the commerce program, so anything related to business. And in my involvement in the student life is I'm both the president of DECA and Model UN. So DECA is a commerce business oriented club, either for people who are interested in those things for their future career or just for their educational, um, personal interests. And then Model UN, like the name sort of hints at, is um, a simulation of the Model United Nations. So if you're interested in learning about diplomacy, public policy, um, talking about world issues and current affairs, it might be something for you. So yeah, that's about me. That's awesome. And Abiyaz, tell us a little bit about yourself. So uh, my name is Abiyaz Abdul, a third year student in the Entrepreneurship and Business Management Program here at Champlain. Uh, I've been in the MSA for quite a while, so uh, since my first semester, so uh, five, uh, five semesters going. Uh, hopefully six too. So uh, MSA means Muslim Student Association. So for those who don't know, uh, it's basically a space for Muslims and non-Muslims to just you know experience what it is to live like in a in a life where you know Islamic values and you know the culture itself. So you know we accept everyone. We we don't uh, discriminate based on you know who's religious or not. We do have non-Muslim members as well. And uh, this semester we have our most exciting event, uh, Charity Week, which is you know our biggest event. Um, before COVID, we used to do with the whole school. Uh, it was super huge, but we know with COVID and you know restrictions, uh, it's less uh, you know it's more virtual and less physical. So uh, yeah, so super excited about that, and uh, I'm happy to share that with you guys. Nice. Yeah. So, Abiyaz, actually, you want to just touch base a little bit about what Charity Week is, what exactly is happening, and when is that taking place? So, uh, Charity Week itself, um, it's an event, but it's also an organization itself. Uh, it's related with the Islamic Relief Canada, so uh, it's an international organization helping those in need. So, Charity Week itself, that division itself, uh, takes care of helping the orphans and needy children uh, around the world. So, uh, this year we have I think we're, we're sponsoring, we're helping uh, four countries. Well, we have four projects. So we have Somalia, Yemen, Sri Lanka, Bosnia with emergency and development projects. We have uh, Philippines, Pakistan, Nigeria, Iraq with education for street and orphans. We also have Palestine, Children's Medical Services. And we have Syria and Lebanon, Hard Surgery for Refugee Children. So what this is, actually the event, is it's a, it's a week of planning and executing activities around the world. So last year we were around 270 institutions worldwide and we collected around $2 million in one week uh, time span. And in Canada, Champlain College came in second place with uh, $8,000. So uh, shout out to Champlain College. And so basically it's just, you know, activities, um, you know, we do we plan every day, every day during that week. So um, pre-COVID times, we had, you know, grape sale, uh, super wrestling, the big <laughs> food sale. Um, you know, we had lots of activities. And now for this, uh, for this year, we're doing it more online. So with that being said, it's going to be more uh, 
the member's job to promote it in their own network itself. So we have, you know, mask sales, you know, uh, those, those mask sales. We have making campaigns, uh, study snack sales. Uh, we have a huge video game tournament coming up uh, next week as well. Uh, we're asking restaurants and organizations to sponsor us. So uh, let's say um, they sell this amount of money, uh, food I mean, uh, they're gonna donate, you know, pledge this amount of money mm -hmm. to the organization. Uh, also, I'm a photographer, so I'm gonna do purchase for charity. So uh, photo shoots where you know, all the funds are going to go to uh, the Charity Week Foundation. And at the end, if we can reach our goal of $5,000, we're gonna do a head shave. So we're going to pick a member or, or someone who's interested and we're going to shave his head uh, for this conference. And Catherine's signing up for that? <laughs> <laughs> no, but I'll definitely participate in charity. Week. Perfect. Perfect. And, awesome. Uh, what's also um, different this year is that we usually have one link uh, for MSA, so one donation link. But this year, um, each member or everyone who wants to participate can have their own, like, um, Charity Week like link itself, their own much good donation page. So um, mm -hmm. it's easier for them to promote it as like their own name will pop up so mm -hmm. they can use their own network. So that's uh, one of the tactics that we're using this year to um, do Charity Week to its hype, uh, even though it's COVID. And, amazing. Uh, yeah, yeah, and it's happening next week. So 26th October to uh, the 1st of November. So that's where we're putting all the activities in uh, yet. The final day that we're donating and that they're you know taking the money and delivering it to the countries is the 13th of november so that's going to be the final day where we you know uh, donate all the money in so uh, yeah i think i think i covered uh, everything is that's amazing it's questions? very 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 clear of yes um I'm, I'm gonna ask you for your contact information at the end okay sounds good okay great and catherine can you tell us a little bit about the uh, conference that's happening this weekend Yes, so this weekend Champlain's hosting uh, their annual Model United Nations Conference. Um, this conference has been going on for approximately five years and it is the first year that is virtual. So we love to see everyone in person, but unfortunately with COVID, it'll be through Zoom. So super easy platform to use. Um, and so what Model United Nations is and what the conference is, uh, is students are um, placed into different committees, committees of their choice, which I'll explain a bit later, and then they do a little bit of research about this committee. We give them material to research. We give them a country. And then um, during the committee session, during the conference, they're basically just going to discuss with other delegates and participants and trying to come up with common resolutions or common solutions to the problem. So one um, committee we have is um, a committee on violence and dis discrimination against minorities. Mm -hmm. So this was inspired um, from the Black Lives Matter movement this summer. So this committee touches on violence and discrimination against women, indigenous people, people's, um, people of visible minorities, except religious um, discrimination. Um, so it's really a committee that talks about current world issues. Um, then we have one which is called the Future of Small Island Developing States. So with climate change and global warming, um, small islands um, that are also countries are really suffering due to global warming and the consequences that come with it. So this committee um, Floors or topics that will be discussed are sustainability, rising sea levels, um, diversification of economies, rather. Um, and so these states don't necessarily rely on tourism. So tons of current world issues that we've heard about in the news. So this is also beginner friendly conference. You do not need to be an expert, not at all. Um, most of our delegates are beginners, their first conference. That's how I got involved with Model United Nations last year. Um, so we really wanted to try to bring together like the Champlain community, the community from other CGEPs. So we have other Montreal CGEPs participating, jo Dawson, Marianopolis, um, Vanier, which is really cool. So not only will you be, um, be meeting new people from Champlain um, with similar interests maybe, but also from other schools. Um, and so, yeah, that's about it. It's again, I want to mention beginner friendly, no experience, <laughs> no prior experience need, um, needed. And you can always come to us executives for questions. We're always there to help you out with your research and any questions and concerns you may have. Man, that's an inspirational students. Jeez. Very inspirational. You know Jeez. what I did in CJP, eh, Sheila? Uh, <laughs> she uh, attended CJP for 12 years. <laughs> <laughs> Four and a half. And or not, part, sorry. It was part of the NAP club. 
Uh, it was an unofficial club. It was mostly just me, and I napped. I love that. <laughs> it's okay. It's important to relax as well. <laughs> Mental health. <laughs> All right, so we're going to switch it up, Sheila, Abiyaz, Catherine, yeah. and we're going to play a little game, and this game is called Fake versus Real. Boom, boom, boom. All right. <laughs> so, uh, Catherine, you're a big uh, into the model UN, so we figured we could ask you whether countries are fake or real, and Abiyaz, you're uh, big into uh, entrepreneurship, so we figured we could ask you about companies that were fake versus real, but then me and Sheila realized that would be too nice. <laughs> we're, we're nice, gonna, but we're not that nice. Come on. We're going to ask Abby Az about countries that are fake and real or real, and Catherine about companies that are fake or real. So, Sheila? <gasps> Very nice. Okay, oh, great. <laughs> um, I will ask Abby Az. Yes. Okay. This, this country, fake or real? <laughs> uh, which one do I do? Right? Uh, <laughs> Panem. Yes, it's it's a it's a real it's a real place it's a real place. Nope, it's fake, and it is from the Hunger Games. Wait, Panama? No, no Panem. Oh, <laughs> good, try, good try, good try. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Blame it on the audio quality of Zoom. <laughs> yes, exactly, exactly. Oh. All right, Catherine, Sorry. tell me if this company is fake or real. It is called InGen, I-N-G-E-N. I will say it's real. It is a fake company <laughs> from the movie Jurassic Park. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> As you can, I don't watch see. a lot of movies, so oh. I'm sorry. It's okay. As you can see, a lot of our um, fake um, questions are related to movies that Scott and I have watched. So. Can, we do, can we do teamwork? Oh, oh yeah, that'd be good. That's good. I like that. Look at this cooperativeness. This is beautiful. I don't know. Scott's saving. Scott doesn't like that. <laughs> Cooperation, but let's do it. Let's do it anyways. All right. So I'm going to ask both of you guys. Uh, we're going to go with a company. Um, we'll go with uh, Burns Industries. Burns Industries? Mm -hmm. Real or fake? Do you know it? Do, any, do you know any movies? Or that? shows. Burns <laughs> in the sheets. It sounds fake. Okay, you guys I'll second you on that. Sure. Fake? And it is fake. You guys are right. Woo -woo. You see teamwork, what happens? Burns. Everybody wins. Let's get to it. Right. <laughs> nice. Scotty? Burns Industries is from The Simpsons, Mr. Burns. <laughs> All right, back to countries. Arendelle. Oh. That's fake. It's from a movie. I don't know which one. But yeah, I'll I second that. Yeah, yeah. It's from my favorite movie, Frozen. Oh, it is true. I never watched. You Frozen. guys are right again. <laughs> so in the back of um in uh, Scott's office, I, he just removed it, but he had a huge Frozen poster. Like he really actually loves this <laughs> this movie very much. So right. yeah, good job, good job, team. Um, let's do one more. This is easy. Know. Like that's that's all you got. That's, oh, okay, okay. Let's that's all you guys have. All right, all right, all right, all right. Okay, I got one. <laughs> I got one. We'll do a company, and we will do. Uh, now, now I feel like I have to give you a hard one. Um, ping and insurance. Ping and insurance. Can you repeat that, Sheila? Please? Yeah, yeah. It's ping and insurance group. That sounds real. Okay, I'll second you on that. Yeah. Sounds real? Yeah. Good job! It yes. is real. It's a Chinese company and their net worth is $220 billion. Oh. So, oh. Good job, guys. Sizable company. Yeah. <laughs> and right. Scott, I'm will do one more? finish it off with one more company. This is a company and it's called SMBCE Inc. SMBCE. B C E Inc. I don't know. What kind of company name is that? <laughs> S M. Do you know what this Do you know what this acronym means? Yeah, it's can you tell us the acronym? It should have an acronym. You got it. You got to give it, Scotty. You got to give the acronym, and they're going to say if it's real or fake. 
is the uh, Shil Sheila Madero's Baron Caro. Oh my God. <laughs> Eggs Incorporated. Yeah, it's, is it really fake? Fake. fake. It's fake. It's fake. Yeah. It's a fake nope. study. It is wrong. It is true. <laughs> what? She <laughs> sells chickens out of her home. <laughs> no. So uh, it is a fake company, uh, but I do have chickens, and Scotty always like uh, hassles me on on my chickens. I have four little uh, little hens, um, uh. and I I do I can sell eggs though. So if you guys want any eggs, organic, free range. All right. Let's get My to net it. worth is minus like a thousand dollars. Actually, pretty expensive. <laughs> <laughs> so don't, yeah, don't participate in my company. All right. No <laughs> Thank you no so did. much, you guys, for participating with us today. I know uh, we like to be silly, but um, what you guys are doing for our school and for our community, it is actually very serious because. Just, I mean, in terms of the charities that you guys are, are helping with and in terms of the student engagement, it's really important for all of our communities and for our students um, to kind of get together and, um, and participate and enjoy and learn. And that's, I think, what Champlain is uh, trying to offer. So, um, and without your help, we wouldn't be able to do this. So good job, team. Thank um, you. I would like you to be able to kind of uh, just quickly say, how would students contact you in regards to the conference, Catherine, or in regards, or regards to your uh, clubs uh, and communities? Want to go ahead, okay. Catherine? Okay. So yeah, for MUN, so Model UN, um, we do have an Instagram page. Um, so Champlain College Mun, but if not, you can always reach out either to the CFA if that's easier to find for you, um, and they'll refer you back to us. If not, my name, I believe, will be on the recording, so Catherine Jackson. Um, and you can also contact our other executives, so Isabella Vergona McGovern or Tanya Mugardel. Um, And yeah, that's for Mun. I'll just quickly for DECA, I didn't talk about it, but if you're interested in like business or instead club, um, our Instagram is Deca Champlain, and again, you can contact me, um, and I'll be able to help you out. Perfect. Thank you, Catherine. I'm Abias. Yeah, so Instagram, I think, would be the, the easiest one. So msa.champlain college, uh, mm -hmm. pretty simple. And like Catherine said, our video is going to be on the Zoom, so uh, Abias, up to Omnibox, you can be obese, and uh, I'll be, uh, I'll, guess, I'll give you all the info you need. Perfect. Yeah. Perfect. Thank you so much. So if you, um, if the community and uh, our first Champlain community would like to keep following us, please visit our, I keep messing this up. So I actually wrote it down, even though I don't need to, because I say it every single time, Champlain St. Lambert YouTube page. <laughs> uh, just follow us there, subscribe. Um, and we post on Tuesdays and Thursdays, and this episode will be going out on Thursday. So uh, once again, thank you so much, um, Catherine and Abiaz. So thank much. Thanks for having thank us. Thank you for having us. Give a thumbs up, um, guys. Thanks. Have a good day. Bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.